This is Late Night Health. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. Hi, I'm Mark Allen. During the next two hours, we're going to look at a wide variety of topics that actually reach out and grab hold of each one of us from uh, having a great relationship to just being fabulous because apparently if you're fabulous, you're healthy. We'll be doing that and much, much more. Uh, This last weekend, I had the opportunity of going to the Natural Products uh, Expo West in Anaheim, California. Check out our Facebook feed because we did some interviews with everybody from Earl Mendel. Uh, the author of The Vitamin Bible. He has a new book on happiness, and he'll be on our show in a couple of weeks. Uh, just had some great fun, and I'd like to thank the people at New Hope Network for uh, inviting us down there to, um, to to view and talk about all the exhibits at Expo West. Okay, I have had more gluten-free products in the last three days uh than, than you and I have had in our entire lives, Daryl. I just wanted you to know that. That's uh, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, well, it's gluten-free, it's fat-free, it's uh, calorie-free, and unfortunately often taste-free. Yeah, I, I love these uh, advertisements that say they're gluten-free when it never had gluten in the first place, no matter what. Oh, I know. It's it's terrific. Well, we should bring on our, our, our guest, Tanya Hoffman, and, and get her take on that, too. Uh, Tanya is uh, a dynamic woman, author of six books? Seven now. Seven now. It's been a week since I've looked at her website. <laughs> Uh, seven seven books. Um, she is an internationally acclaimed speaker. She has a great speakers bureau, and she's just a, a become a great friend. We met about a month and a half ago, a little bit less than that. It's only been a month, yeah. And we talk a lot. We <laughs> both of us talk a lot. I was actually it's hard unto- to believe, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I talk. <laughs> she can. I got to tell you, Tanya can talk more than I can. Oh, I'm no. sure. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, maybe not. We it, need to have a talk off. We're going to have a yeah. talk off. All right, <laughs> we will. Uh, Tanya, uh, the, your TV show is called Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. It is. And it's on Blab TV, uh, B-L-A-B dot TV. And it was so much fun to do. Can't wait to do it again. And we're going to talk today about your life and what you've done to turn your life around. And you actually do help people turn their lives around, do you not? Oh, it's so much fun just to let people know that they're not alone and whatever fears that they have, you're not the first one. (laughs) And you're going to turn my life around? Oh, you know, you're pretty already turned around, but we won't we won't make you spend too much. Okay, that'll that'll be great. Uh, Tanya, <laughs> tell us about your background first of all. Oh my goodness. So, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 25. I had retail stores in Houston. They were science and nature. We were one of the first ever um stores that were in the Houston market that was carrying, like, you know, natural products for, like, shampoo and stuff like that. Got it. <laughs> and, um, but retail is, you know, it's pretty rough. And after we were robbed and tied up when I was six months pregnant. Oh, my. In the store, yes. And I had went through cancer. And finally, my husband and I looked at each other and like, what are we doing? It is time for a change. And we closed up the stores, ran to Austin, and we've been here ever since. And from then on, it's about really getting out of my own way and finding these amazing people that I get to meet all the time, like yourself, uh, that you. really kind of um, supercharges not only what I'm doing, but the connections to people that they could help as well. I'm curious about something. You said getting out of your own way. Do you think many people have that getting out of your own way syndrome? Oh, I think it's prevalent. You know, if you've gone through trauma, um, you know, I, I, when I say I was robbed and tied up and I went through cancer, those were the nice things, you know? So, (laughs) so we could talk all day long about how I was in this kind of victim mentality and I was letting my fears control my life. 
And when you allow that that overwhelming focus on the negative, that's pretty much what your life is like. You know, you kind of live in the shadows. But then you start realizing, I realize that all it takes is one little beam of light. I mean, it could come from a flashlight, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and it will break up that darkness. And if you follow the light and you start expanding on it, how amazing your life becomes and how you can truly go out and not only change your life, but others. And that's what gets me going. That's just so much fun. Uh, we met at a a, a summit, and the, the basic premise of the summit, it was called, called the Global Influence Summit. Uh, uh, which was run by uh, Charmaine uh, Hammond, who was a, a guest uh, a, a few weeks ago on the show. And the whole premise uh, that my takeaway from the summit was, if you help others, others will help you. How important is that to reach somebody's goal? In other words, you know, when I met Daryl, and Daryl said to me, Hey, if you go back on radio, what 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 would you do? And out popped, I want to do a show on health and empower people to take charge of their health. Daryl's reaction to my statement was, it was Wednesday night. He said, let's start it Saturday night. And I panicked. <laughs> but we've been doing this for now over four years. My point is, is, is that the kind of thing that, I mean, it makes me happy to help people. Yeah. Well, I think it's reality of collaboration, you know, because a lot of times what happens is there's people out there that are just natural givers, and they give, 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 and then they're so off balance that they crash and burn because they're like, they're, they're only giving, they're not receiving. So it's also about creating a understanding with the people that you're around that we're all playing in the same sandbox that you're not allowed to build, you know, a gated community sandbox and only allow me to walk in, but I have to leave at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. And at the same time, those natural givers, there are a lot of natural takers. Oh, yeah. And you got to stay away from those, don't you? Yeah, you have to find who resonates with you and who gets it, you know, because not everybody is a collaborator, right? And it's all about kind of the cooperation effect. You know, we all have to be there for each other, but with the understanding that you will also be there for me when I need it. And sometimes when I'm, you know, when I don't even know I need it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, our guest is the uh, fabulous host, uh, Tonya Hoffman. Uh, Tanya is uh, the, the, the host of Tanya Hoffman's fabulous TV show. And it's on Blab TV. And we'll give out some other uh, uh, contact information, some other websites as well. Yeah, and a quick correction, it's blab.im, like oh. instant message. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I thought I did Blab. Okay. <laughs> what do I, I don't know, know what happens when you go to blab.tv. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either, but we'll find out. Uh, uh, let's talk about cancer. I mean, going to – we have a mutual friend who passed away a couple of years ago. And um, uh, his name was Smitty, and he came in one day and and said uh, we hadn't seen him for a while. And he came in and said, "I have cancer. They've given me like two months. I just wanted to say goodbye, guys." Wow! Wow! How does when when somebody when the doctor says to you, "You got the big C," what went through your mind at first, and how did it you was... see the light at the other end of that tunnel? Yeah, it was very surreal. I was 29, and I think it helped being 29 because I think still in your 20s, you don't... I never felt like something wasn't... You know, I, I felt like, well, either, either way, I, there's nothing I could do about it. I had to kind of give everything over to the doctors to take care of, and it was kind of one of those... It really helped me because sometimes, you know, as a giver, you don't know how to receive. And the doctors the whole time was like, oh, don't worry about it, Tanya. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. This is not a big deal. This, you know, and they were so nonchalant about it. It really put me at ease. 
and then having my family, which was very unusual because I've had such a splintered family in the past, they really came together in a way that I wasn't expecting um, and felt very kind of rallied behind me, even though some of the people that were the closest to me disappeared, that are wow. normally always there. And it took me a long time to realize that they just couldn't handle the thought of me not being there anymore. So it was easier for them to just step away than to deal with their own emotions. I know that it. I know that uh, that Tanya is going to be with us for many, many, many more years, um, <laughs> and we look forward to sharing with her. Uh, we're going to be taking time out in a moment or two, and when we come back, I wanted to talk about dealing with negative people, and then talk about the fact that from shy to outgoing. You, you release that. And I want to talk about both of those because I think they, they are kind of interconnected. Uh, I'm Mark Allen, and you are tuned to Late Night Health. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. You will see, once again, the beautiful picture of Tanya, it, not only in our newsletter but on our website. She has her own page on our website, by the way, and a link to all of her fabulous places. And join us at LateNightHealth.com. Uh, coming up in a little bit, Robert Clancy will be joining us in about 10 minutes from now, and we're going to talk about how to shine and why you should. All that and much more coming up on this edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Don't go away. More coming up. <laughs> 